level of the budgets. I want to do this quick run through because uh, I've seen somebody post that you can't live on a small budget in the Philippines, and I just want to show you that you can. Um, it's not saying I'm advising it. I'm not advising people to live on this. I would say this is your minimum, but there is still flexibility even in this. Um, rent about three five. Three five will get you a very basic apartment somewhere if you're renting long term. Um, you can go higher, can go lower. You can get a three bedroom decker homes place uh, in Cebu, around Cebu, uh, the outskirts, for about six thousand a month. Um, food bill about eight thousand. You can reduce that food bill for two people easily, but I put eight thousand because anything that's left over, you do eating out. Uh, electric bill about one thousand eight hundred. That's with a half horsepower air conditioning unit for like in the bedroom. You know, just so it's cool at night. It's not running during twenty four seven. It's not running during the day. It's just for the evening use to stop you sweating when you're sleeping. Uh, also includes a couple of air, um, electric fans because you have one in your sitting room and one in the bedroom, etc. Uh, water bill about three hundred pesos. But also, if you're in a shared compound, you may not have a water bill at all. Motorbike, a monthly fee, because if you're buying a motorbike, a lot of people buy them on monthly installments. I never advise it because you end up paying for about two, three motorbikes, but it'll come in about 1,500. So even if you want to be a mode of transportation, this is budgeted in this. Um, fuel for that motorbike or transportation, about 1,000 pesos a month. Internet, about 1,000, but you can actually reduce that by sharing your internet with your neighbors or getting a cheaper option. Uh, I think we're paying about 780 or something at the moment. Um, 780 pesos. Uh, visa fees, they go up and down. But if you're there long term, married to a Filipina, go 13A resident, and you're only paying 300 pesos a year. It will have an initial impact, but long, uh, long term it's worth it. Uh, but if you're on a tourist visa, I budget about 4,000 a month. So all in all, you're looking at with the visa fees, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21,000 pesos roughly, uh, roughly, not roughly, so 21,000 pesos, and that'll come in at, let's do that, so I'm just doing the math while we're 21,000, so that's about $450. Now that's the absolute minimum and there is flexibility even in that though. I say the minimum because I wouldn't recommend going under that as your budget. I recommend 500 is the absolute minimum because A, you haven't got health insurance in there. Uh, B, you, grow, you can skim like grocery bills. You can reduce it heavily by eating more local food. Um, one of the things, I mean, even I was talking to Alan Raymond about this a while back. The when you're skint, what you do is you go for soy sauce, white rice, and chicken, and then that only costs like 100 pesos a day for about four people. Um, that you can really skimp if you had to. Um, electric bill. Although I put about 1,800, that's with the aircon on in the evenings. If you switch that off, you're at, you'll find your bill will reduce by at least, I'd say about 1,000 to 1,500 easily. Um, so you can actually have more than half your electric bill by switching the aircon off. Uh, the water bill, that says you may not have one. The motorbike, although I put 1,5, that 1,5 could be for anything. It may be paying for your air conditioning unit. It could be, it's an installment fee. Um, so obviously if you've got no installments and it invested initially when you arrived, you may not have that. So there's an extra one five hidden in there. Fuel costs. Depends how much you're moving around. I always put a, quite a large a thousand pesos because um, when you first move somewhere, you move around a lot. But I highly recommend don't use taxis. Taxi runs will cost you at least 200 pesos a time. But if you use the local jeepneys and stuff, it'll cost you like 20 pesos. Huge difference. Internet, like I said, you can share it. You can get that down to 250 pesos per person um, if you can get four another three neighbours onto it. Visa fees, there's no escaping it unless you get married and go down to 13A, where initially I think it'll cost about 13,000 pesos to get through the process, etc. Um, 
but then you're only paying 300 a year which is worth it because you've got no trips to immigration then as well so that that's real that's the real prices because these this budget is one i've lived on i've lived on less than this the least i've lived on in the philippines is 5000 pesos a month as a couple um so you can reduce it and but what i'll say is that is the minimum 500 dollars that there is no leeway for mistakes um if you have a motorbike crash for example as a friend did and it cost him 20000 pesos medical bill he had no beer budget he halved his grocery bill he switched off the aircon he basically went on life support until he had paid that 20000 pesos back cuz it's on a 56 56 is a uh payday loan where you borrow five you pay six um the interest in cebu varies from about 10 to 20 percent per month um so as such it can be quite expensive because the interest is growing all the time this is why it's when you get into that you need to pay as quick as possible because the interest is going to be stupid over a long period of time which is the same with the motorbikes. Motorbikes, you you could buy two motorbikes for the price you end up paying on instalments. So my best advice: prepare for like your 13A, because then put 13,000 away for it. This may have changed slightly, um, so I put 20,000. While you while you're overseas, 20,000 is not a lot of money, so you can prepare for that. Just put it in a bank account and leave it separate. Um, your utensils, your pots, your pans, your beds, your furniture, your TV, your fridge, cooker, etc., etc. Separate budget. This is not in this budget. If you arrive in the Philippines with this budget, you, you're you not going to have anything to cook on. You're not going to be able to afford to adapt to the Philippines. This is a living budget. This is basically living cost month to month once you're settled. What would it cost to settle in the Philippines? It depends on your standard of living. Um, personally, I don't need a TV. I've got my laptop, so I don't have a TV. I mean, we do have a TV because we've got kids, but uh, when we first moved to the Philippines, we didn't have a TV. Didn't need one. We don't watch TV. Um, the beds and stuff, because my wife is already in the Philippines, we already had the bed and other things. Also, while we're while I was in the UK, I renovated, um, I, an our what do you call it, an ancestral home, uh, a family home. So when we, when I moved there, when we got married, uh, we already had everything because I'd put it in advance. This is another important thing. But use things like Cebu Appliance to hunt things down for you. You get an idea of the cost of an aircon uh, because. They will not put an air conditioning unit in most of these apartments. The reason being is people disappear with them. Um, uh, unless it's actually a friendly family type place, they they avoid putting too much in because people steal like no tomorrow. Um, I was having this discussion with somebody recently about my own apartments because I want to upgrade them, but I know further down the road um, a guy ran away with... A friend's TVs. Um, the TVs were like 50 inch plasmas. <laughs> um, so I'm a bit wary about doing it. But at the same time, I want to upgrade as well myself. So it just gives you an idea of the cost. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.